don't believe it. You are kidding me. You are kidding me. You are never locked in garage Zoe. Oh my God. Are you in garage? Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Good morning. Hi, welcome back to our channel, well, Bertie Birds. Well, I wanted to the say... The one and only YouTube channel. But I wanted to say it this time, Zoe. <laughs> do it. It was my turn. You're too slow. That was my turn to say it. Too slow. Oh, oh my turn. Oh, he's jumping in, aren't you? <laughs> We're just going for a walk. Where's Bertie? Bertie in the background. Oh, Bertie's there, look. We're just going for a walk, aren't we, love? Yeah. In the rain. We've got full waterproofs on, so we're good. Aren't we? You yeah. ready? I'm just checking. I've got my phone. Check you got your phone. Got yeah. your keys. We checked van about four times to make sure it's locked. <laughs> yeah. Checked about four times. We've turned all the lights off. Yes. Yeah, we're sure. Let's go. Here we are again. You're a lucky girl, aren't you? You're a lucky girl. You just ran around in circles here. Come here. Here he comes. No fear. Wherever Bodie is, he is, isn't he? Have you noticed? Yeah, he's on the beach, yeah. But wherever I am, he's not who am, he's inside of me. He's only getting enough exercise, isn't he? Do you not think? <laughs> crackers, isn't he? <laughs> Following Bodie around everywhere. Hey, Millie. You alright, love? I don't think Bruce is interested in ball, is he? No. He just wants um, Bodie. He just wants to chase Bodie. He doesn't seem interested in toys. This is what Millie loves, isn't it? She gets a new lease of life, doesn't she, when she's enjoying herself <laughs> like this? She doesn't run us very much, does she? But look at her, she's enjoying it, aren't you, love? <laughs> You're bringing it, Millie. Bringing it. Yeah. These colours up here though, you know what I think? You know what beach huts? Right, bright and yeah. cheerful. It, it brightens the place up, doesn't it? It does. You know what I mean? You look all like your top you've got on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is I need some new one. I need some new tops. You do, don't you? <laughs> Well, he just jumps across it. <laughs> oh, it's like a drowned rat. Come on. Come on, Bruce. Come on, Brucey. Bruce! Bruce! Help me, mummy! Help me! Help me! Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ready? Ready? It's going to be another rough one. It's already building up, look. Tide's only just coming in. And it's already hitting wall. Oh, it's going to be another good one, I think. I wonder if these cafes on here can get insurance. Oh, it's building up. I think it's going to be another rough one, love. Love this, just sat having a cup of coffee, watching the sea. I love it, just love watching the sea. 
So, an update on the engine remapping saga. So, the garage that we originally took it to to have the engine mapping done, um, we've rung him up when we were in Sheffield, and uh, he's got in touch with the guy that did the tuning for us. Uh, and they've come back and said that the remapping of the engine will not make that much difference to the clutch. They don't seem to think it makes any difference at all and that is not the issue it's not it's not having it remapped is the issue because it doesn't make that much difference and especially driving it in manual like i am doing it shouldn't make a blind bit of difference he says they've looked into it and the, the problem with these ivaco um, chassis and engines the gearboxes aren't that good anyway which i, I don't know about that but they do burn through clutches quite regular uh, he reckons every 8,000 miles it'll need a new clutch he says you might get 10,000 miles out of it if you drive it steady he says but they're always burning clutches out that's just how they are so I'm like thinking God he says he says it won't make any difference he says they could remap it back down he says you might get an extra 2,000 mile out of it before clutch goes but clutch will go anyway he says, so what would you rather, rather have? Lose your uh, power and have 2,000 mile more or keep the power and live with it? He says, just drive it in manual and just see how you go on. But they generally don't think that it will make any difference whatsoever. So I don't know what to do. I mean, as it stands now, the engine, it don't miss anymore like it did before. And the EDC light's still not come on yet. So that's always positive with the battery situation. So I'm hoping we've cured that one. But as far as this engine mapping stuff, I'm absolutely lost with it because I've, I've come to a brick wall now, guys. I don't know who's right and I don't know who's wrong. I'm no mechanic myself. And I just just don't know. Um, it has slipped again slightly uh, coming into Scarborough, but not much. Um, it didn't stick in gear because when it seems to slip, it sticks in gear. It like... Um, has to reset itself so but, it, but that were fine um, I don't know I don't know I'm at a loss with this and nobody can give me an answer to be fair so uh, maybe you've got some ideas guys I was, do you know anybody that's got an Eveco 3 litre diesel engine and, and had similar sorts of problems with clutching one thing or another I don't know so there's not a lot we can do about it at the moment is there? No just so, persevere with it. Persevere, and uh, we, I've done. We've done as much as we can. I've had it all serviced. I've had everything changed. I've had all filters changed, as you know. I've had new battery on, and we're just going to have to see how it goes. This and yeah. and, and see. So I, I just don't know. Just going to have to carry on driving it in manual. Yeah. So not the best of news, is, is it really? Because uh, yeah. I still don't feel as though I've got to the bottom of it all. Surely they don't build a vehicle that needs clutch changing 8, 000, every 8,000 miles. It doesn't seem right, that to me. Mm. Does e it? Everyone tells you different. It's an awkward one. Yeah, everyone just tells you, you different. Uh, yeah. So don't I know think to it's believe. just trial and error and work it out for ourselves. So we're going to leave it for now and uh, we'll see what happens, shall we? Yeah. Scarborough Harbour. That's a mouthful, isn't it? Scarborough, Scarborough Harbour. So that when you're drunk, Zoe. <laughs> Dick, nice. Making me feel seasick. Oh God, you're not even on a boat. I oh, know, just watching them going up and down. Lifeboat going out there, Zoe. Not been down here before, have we? Here is Zoe sporting a fashionable regatta 100% waterproof coat. It's better than your coat. Give us a twirl, Zoe. Show, show everybody your coat. 100% waterproof, waterproof and breathable, isn't it, Zoe? Yeah. In fashionable colours, in blue, orange, and black. Better than your Available coat. at your stores. I'd be good at reviewing me, wouldn't I? Sporting your fashionable handbag called Bruce. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> no, just show Oh, them. you're supposed to be a model. Models don't talk. Just pout. <laughs> pout a lot. You've got to pout and twirl and stick your bum out and stuff. That's mm. what they do. <laughs> I'm, not I'm not sure if we're allowed to walk across here or not. Come on, Zoe. Come on, love. Go across the bridge. To the lighthouse. Coastline's getting a bit battered down there. I don't know if you can see it or not. Is it down there? It's a lot calmer today though than it was yesterday. And here's Scarborough from a different view. And here comes my beautiful assistant. <laughs> and there's a hotel. Is it the Victoria Hotel? Mm, you know, you research. Okay. Eh? It's got four towers for the four seasons. It is on 12 floors for the 12 months. It has 365 rooms for the days of the year. And it has 52 chimneys for the weeks in the year. Did you know that? No. I am full of facts, I am, Zoe. Summit, aren't you? Absolutely. And this is the lighthouse at Scarborough. How cool is that? I didn't even know you could come down here to be honest. Yeah. There's all seating areas down here, look. Look at that nice uh, fit woman. What? Where? Oh, yeah. Castle up there. No. Ah, uh, Scarborough Castle. And that is St Mary's Church. Where one of Bronte's sisters is buried. And there's all seating down here. I didn't know this. Come my lover, let us walk the promenade. It's a gun. 1914, right? Um, and it was recovered off the wreck of a ship right. 2.5 miles out in The ship was 1917 when it got sunk The SS Horn something It's worn away at lettering which was sunk by a torpedo and it was recovered in 1984 yeah. by submersible and then and then and then RAF uh, helicopter flew it in. I'm surprised it's still in town. He's been at sea that long. Yeah, how good is that to say it's been on a shipwreck? And it's sea all them years. Exactly. A shipwreck from 1917. Mm -hmm. And they took it off the shipwreck. 2.5 miles out from here. How good is that? Ship sunk by a torpedo, so. What, what's this thing going to turn it round? That's a wheel, love. Yeah, no, but it's spinning the gun round. Try it. It's not working. Is it not? Surprises me. It's there. Yeah. Why? It's up here. Get across. Get across there. Going across, going across the plank. I don't think dogs are going to like this much. Come on, guys. Ooh. Come on. Come on. Okay. He ain't bothered. Come on, Zoe. Oh, Zoe's going to fall. <laughs> you do do these things to me. What, what things? I do lots of things to you, Zoe. Which one? I didn't like that. I was Is that another one in the filing system? Yeah, and dogs didn't like it either. You're done sulking. Come on. <laughs> You're right, glad I don't live on a boat. Aren't you? You'd just be seasick all the time, wouldn't you? No, I wouldn't, because I wouldn't be with you. 
<laughs> oh, that's the solution. I'll buy a boat. <laughs> That'd be the only boat I could afford. One of these little dinghies here. It's <laughs> a so nice view at Castle here, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. It's nice view of Scarborough. It is. The castle wall. You see the castle wall as it goes up. Not seen that before. As it goes up to the top. I think it's coming over a bit here, Zoe. <laughs> a bit. Yeah. Aren't you? Wow, look at that. Oh, yeah, bar's open. Wow, look at it here. Wow. Right, today is service day. Service day, so just as you come into Scarborough, there's a BP garage that has a revolution. So we've come up here to get his washing done. So Zoe's got washing in, and I've got a, a watering can, and they very kindly let us use the water tap here to fill up with water. So that's what I'm doing now. So we're filling up with water and getting our washing done as we do being full-time van lifers. I'm going to show you uh, where the water tap is, this garage. So I've got my watering can out at garage and uh, we'll just show you. Uh, this is where the revolution is guys, our washing's in there right now. 
you can see. And this is the garage at Scarborough, the Londis BP uh, garage. And they very kindly let us use this water tap here. There's a water tap on the wall. So I've got my watering can uh, and I'm just going to fill up with water now. This is my water inlet at side of the van. So I just put water in there. Uh, about, I would say, I would down to 40%. So it's going to take about 12 watering cans to fill it up, I would say. And here's my model. Hello, darling. Hello. You know why you're a model, don't you? You see why you're a model, can't you? Yeah, absolutely. You're a model because they call you Airfix. And why do they call you Airfix? Because your hair needs fixing because you're getting grey streaks in it again, love. So therefore, you're my model. <laughs> Airfix models, Zoe. Airfix models. You get that? You dry, love. It's bone dry. Yeah. Bone dry. All washed. Oh, nice, uh, I got some clean pants to wear again, Zoe. Yeah, nice clean rug for uh, Bruce to pee on. It's unlocked, love. I'm just gonna get she's some here, look. Out. She's here. I'm just gonna get some water I think I'll need one more watering can. I think that'll be enough. Ah, right. oh, Bertie. One more. It's banging! It's banging! <laughs> no way! You're never locked in garage Zoe! Oh my god! Are you in garage? Are you bloody... <laughs> oh, I'm panicking in there! It's been dry! <laughs> You're locked in garage! Oh, get out of here! <laughs> get out! Silly sod! God! <laughs> Wind must have blown! in there! Wind must have blown! <laughs> sure. It's a good job you were banging over the left you in there. Oh, I'd have been think I'd have been thinking, where's Zoe gone? Where's Zoe gone? Kicking off. <laughs> scary in there. Imagine being trapped in. <laughs> What's he up to? Goose. He's chewing some wires or something. Um hi guys. Hope you enjoyed this vlog. Still here in Scarborough, aren't we, love? Oh, yeah. Just waiting for a little bit better, better weather before we start heading up coast, aren't we? Yeah. So we're just biding this time. We've saved this van, haven't we? We've got full water and we've got full washing done. Yeah, we have. Look how we rock and roll, eh? Yeah, we might start heading up tomorrow. Are we? Yeah. So I hope you guys are okay. Please like and subscribe, as always, if you've not done already. If you're new to watching Bertie Bus, we would really, really appreciate your... Um, support yes it's free to like and subscribe we could be a team me and you couldn't we you mm. chipped straight in there didn't you Zoe? <laughs> yeah. hey didn't even tell you to say that did i apart from when you get locked oh. in garage oh god don't <laughs> remind me that was scary that one. Oh man i found a new place where i'm gonna keep you in there <laughs> <laughs> so hope you guys are okay and uh, hope you'll catch up with us on our uh, next vlog. Uh, whatever we're going to get up to, I don't know yet. And we'll catch you guys later. Bye. Bye.